Now I'm going to show you how to make your very own ribbon barrette. To begin, all you need is a barrette and two ribbons using your favorite colors. To begin, open the barrette and place it in the holder. Take your ribbons and fold them in half. Place them around the back and tie a double knot under the barrette. Pull your knot up towards the top of the barrette and pull it tight. If your knot slides down, that's okay, just pull it up towards the top again. Now when lining up your ribbons, the same color should be on one L and one R. I'll use pink at one L and my other pink at one R. And I'll use blue at two L and two R so they're the same color. To begin your ribbon barrette, pick up the ribbon and one L and weave it through the center of your barrette. Make sure your string lays flat and then place it in 3R. Pick up the string in 1R, weave it through the center, making sure it lays flat, and place it in 3L. Next, move to 2L, pick up your blue ribbon, weave it through the center of your barrette, and put it in 4R. Next, pick up 2R, weave it through the center, keeping it flat, and into 4L. When you're making your barrette, if your ribbon starts to slide down from the top, no need to worry. As you make more rows, the ribbons will push themselves up towards the top. Next, we have to put our strings back in the starting position. Move your pink string in 3L back to 1L, and from 4L to 2L, and the same for the other side. 3R to 1R, and 4R to 2R. Repeat the pattern. Pick up 1L, weave through the center, making sure it lays flat. You can just give it a little twist if it's not, to 3R. Pick up 1R, through the center, to 3L. Move on to 2L, through the center, to 4R, pick up 2R, and go back through the center, to 4L. Sometimes you can just push your ribbon back up towards the top, and then simply pull the ribbons tighter. Keep repeating this pattern until your ribbon barrette is full. Once you complete your ribbon barrette, there are two different ways that I like to finish mine. You can take your ribbons out, tie a double knot, And the first way I like to finish mine is by making a bow. You can make your bow as big or as small as you want, and you can even add beads at the end. The other way I like to finish my barrette is after tying my double knot, you can take it off the holder, open your tray, and pick out beads to add onto the end. To make it easier, use scissors to cut the end of your ribbons until they look like a point. And then this makes it easier to slide the ribbon through the beads. Add as many beads as you want, 
and then you can tie a knot to hold them into place. You can use your favorite colors, holiday colors, or even your school colors to show school spirit.